Turquoise, pink, and black. Alone, they're pretty much just colors. But together, they represent one of the most popular sneaker colorways of our generation. But before we get into all that, let's do a little bit of history. It's time for us to show that heat, that this weekend will be on your feet. It's the heat check. The LeBron 8 South Beach or preheat first started popping up on blogs in the summer of 2010. This all started happening right around the time of LeBron's decision to go to Miami and the buzz about him was going through the roof. The colors were inspired by the city of South Beach or Miami Vice if you prefer and originally the color was actually called retro and not turquoise. Originally the shoes only released in Miami and this was in October of 2010. However, Nike ended up doing a larger release in November of 2010 at a price of $160. No one knew it at this point, but the colorway would soon make its way to other kicks and even some other brands. Now, after the popularity of the 8, everyone expected the 9 to have a South Beach colorway, and it did, but it didn't happen until 2012 with the Nike LeBron 9 Elite. Now for the LeBron 9 version of the South Beach, Nike didn't stay as graphically strong and used gray as the lead color and used turquoise and pink as an accent color on this model. There was also a little bit of black in there as well on the carbon fiber. Now when these released in June of 2012, they released for $250 and they didn't have the official South Beach name. They were actually called the LeBron 9 Elite Miami Vice, but that didn't stop the blogs and the sneaker people from calling them the LeBron 9 South Beach. This brings us to 2014 and the release this this weekend of the LeBron 11 South Beach. Nike Basketball skipped the colorway on the LeBron 10 but decided to bring it back in an official capacity this year. The turquoise hyperposite upper is dressed above a black hyperfuse, leaving pink as an accent over the liner flywire and the lace lock. Like the LeBron 8, Nike is officially using the name South Beach on the shoe, so it is the Nike LeBron 11 South Beach and not some variant of the name. Either way, this shoe is set to release this weekend over at Finish Line for $200. Now that's a lot better than the Elite, which was $250, although it's a little more expensive than the LeBron 8 was, which was at $160, but it is almost four years years later. Nike has also decided to make the shoe available for basically everyone. For the adults, like I said, the shoe is going to cost $200. But if you happen to be a toddler or if you want to hook up your little toddler, they will have those for toddlers as well. And those will be priced at $50. Now, if you're actually interested in grabbing a pair, I've included a link down below that will take you directly to the shoes over on the Finish Line webpage. But after you do that, I have a question for you guys. What was the best South Beach colorway? Let me know down in the comments. Well, that's going to do it for the show today. As always, I want you guys to know I appreciate you. This is a special edition of the Heat Check, talking about the LeBron South Beach lineage. That's a good word for it, lineage. All right, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Happy hunting, and I'll see you soon. Peace.